Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana. How to go beyond your looks. Are you someone who's constantly looking in the mirror and you never feel good enough? Look, you're still in the mirror right now, looking at it, saying, I'm never going to be good enough. <gasps> and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> okay, I got a great question. Someone asked, how can I go beyond my looks, Ralph? How can people see me just for more than my body? And this is a huge issue, okay, for men and women. I meet a lot of women who say, Okay, they want to move out of that kind of way they're perceived as just being only a backside. Okay, and a lot of men, right? Sometimes we go to the gym and people think, okay, we're only our muscles. So I'm going to share with you what's helped me along my journey. Because I like to stay fit. I like to stay in shape. But how do we go beyond our bodies? Okay, I'm going to share with you 10 secret ways that's helped me along my journey. Now, the first secret way to move beyond your body, to tap into your true energy, what's helped me is to realize that you aren't only your body. Huh? Yeah, that's right. You aren't only this vehicle. Like once I noticed that, I was like, okay, I kind of get it now because for so long, I was just identifying with my body. I am like, I am my body. This is who I am. So everything depends on it. Then I realize actually, we are so much more than just this shell, okay? And a lot of people have a lot of insecurity because of their body, because they identify with their body and they don't realize they are so much more. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay, so start to realize, look, you are so much more than your body. Yes, it's beautiful to have a beautiful body, a great backside. Everybody wants to see it, even the cat down the road. But at the same time, don't just feel you are only this. Realize you are so much more. You've got so many different, amazing, beautiful gifts to share with the world. What's the second secret to go beyond your body? Now, what helped me along my journey was to realize that a beautiful body is great, but it compares nothing, right, to a beautiful energy. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. A beautiful body is great, but it doesn't compare to a beautiful energy. Like, have you ever met someone and you haven't even seen what they look like? They're just talking and you're like, oh my gosh, I think, I, I think I'm in love right now, right? Because energy is something which you can't see. You just know it's there. And I started to realize this along my journey that I was becoming even more attracted to a woman's energy rather than her looks. You see, you, we're living in a world where we base everything on looks, on outer appearance, and that's amazing. It is important. You want to use your body, embrace it, love your body. But when you have a beautiful energy, then it's almost like the body just dissolves. Okay. And I started to see that with me because I was like, I used to make videos with my hair all over the place. And it didn't even matter what I looked like because I was just tapping into that good ass prana woo, energy and having fun. Okay. And people picked up on that and beautiful energy is contagious. When you use your body as a statement, like a lot of people do it through yoga, they're using their body, this vehicle as a message to convey important information. Okay, and that's how to go beyond your body. You use the body as a tool, not as the be all and end all, as something which defines your entire existence. Dun, dun, dun. What's the third way to go beyond your body? To tap into your amazing energy. 
This is what's helped me along my journey. Seven day vegan challenge. I used to eat just to look good. Okay, certain times I would be counting calories. You see, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people, too many people in fact, counting calories and not enough people counting chemicals. Hmm. Slow motion this side. Mm. But Ralph, I want to look good. We want to be seen. I wanted to be seen. So I'm like, okay, if I eat this, I can get into this shape and this. That's a nightmare. Okay, when you just eat, because it makes you feel good. Not only do you eat healthier, but you kind of, you just let go. You have more fun. You have more freedom. And you're not so, you're not so caught up in trying to look a certain body shape. Because truth be told, truth be told, everybody has a different body shape. And if you try and copy someone else's, oh boy, you are going to run into some big problems. Why? Because you're just not them. Like they have their body shape. You have yours. Embrace it. What's the fourth way to go beyond your body, to tap into your amazing energy? Now, what I've realized along my journey is that our body, which is so beautiful, we love it. We love to show it off. I do all the time. But you see, when you look at the body, it's never what you say it's the energy behind that matters and what i found out was that if you can expose yourself like one day just say ladies no makeup because i know a lot of ladies what they do they're sleeping with their partner then they wake up early and then they go and put on their makeup come back into bed and by the time he wakes up and you wake up it's like oh baby you look like that and you're like yeah Little did he know you were getting up so early to do all of that, okay? So when you kind of go naked, that's what I call it, okay? You learn how to go beyond your body. When you go naked, you allow yourself just to be organic, just to be natural. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to judge you, okay? And whoever's with you, if they judge you just because you don't have some foundation on or guys, if they're judging you because your muscles aren't a certain way, then these aren't the people that you want to hang around. Okay, these aren't the people you want to be around because these people are only with you for the looks. They're not with you for the feels. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay. So what's number five? This is what I call the signature. Okay, now the signature we have, like when I say, can I get a hello? <laughs> it doesn't even matter what I talk about because I'm tapping into my authentic energy. So I can talk about teapots and kettles and it will still sound flipping amazing, right? That's how to go beyond the body. You start to find a signature, okay? Every great cartoon has a signature, right? And once you have a signature, it becomes amazing because you realize that you don't have to spend all of this time trying to look a certain way, trying to fit in. Maybe it's a unique thing you do, okay? Once you find your uniqueness, then you go beyond just this physical body, okay? So find a signature. Do you want me to help you find one right now? Right, I can help you find one. Stand up right now. You're standing up? Then like, just say something randomly. That is your signature. Does it make you feel good? Go with it. That's your signature. So every time, just say that, right? And then you go beyond your body. That's what I did, even in my intro. Peace, that's my signature, right? So people don't, sometimes people don't even look at me when I'm making videos. They just have me on in the background. I can live with that. <laughs> what is number six? The sixth way to go beyond your body and tap into your amazing energy. What's helped me is to realize, look, there is always someone with more money than you, who looks better than you. I don't know about that, right? Who lives in a bigger house than you. I do know about that, right? <laughs> but there is nobody quite like you. And there is nobody, you can't compare yourself to anybody because you are you and well, they are them, okay? So what I started, started to learn is that you see, if you are just say in the modeling industry or whatever, 
you're modeling, there's always a new face, right? There's a 17 year old right now, an 18 year old who is what I call fresher than you right now. Okay. Because they're younger, they're fresher. Everybody wants a new face, but you see, that's why a lot of people have so much insecurities because they've put all their eggs in one basket, right? They have just said, I am only this body. So now they realize, oh my gosh, there's a new face on the scene. So when you, when your energy becomes your new face, you will always be relevant. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Let me repeat that. You like how I do that? Let me repeat that. That's a signature as well, right? When your energy is so powerful, that becomes your new face. It's like you got singers who are 60, Rolling Stone, 70. They're moving on, okay? You got great, even B.B. King, before he passed away, he was rocking and rolling. He went beyond his body because he spoke through his music, right? He had tapped into the secret of realizing he had gone beyond that stage because he was making a, a new statement, right? A new face through reinventing himself, having new energy, right? So once you tap into your energy by saying, okay, it doesn't matter if I'm 80 years old, I'm still going to be amazing. Like I love seeing old people who just, you can feel their energy, right? You feel their entire presence and you get kind of ooh, chills up your spine, right? Because they know that they are always a new face. They are always a new face. Age is just the number. It doesn't define me. Slow motion this side. Okay, what is number seven? Now, what I realized along my journey is presence is everything. Okay, to go beyond the body and tap into your amazing energy on a practical level, people always ask, okay, Ralph, how do I do this? And what really helped me was to say presence. Okay, I grew up, I went to theater studies class. I took a few classes. It was pretty cool, right? You're learning how to act. And my drama teacher at the time said, Ralph, I said, yes, don't act. Okay, B don't act be she said great actors aren't acting they are being there is something called method acting where these actors literally become that character they develop the presence of everything that character is going through so it's like really 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 real right you can't even tell the difference you're like snap out of character afterwards they're like still in character it's really trippy <laughs> right so a presence certain times you probably got a friend, maybe it's you. You go into a room and all of a sudden everybody notices your presence. You have, in essence, gone beyond your body. People feel your aura, they feel your energetic vibrations and they just wanna hug you all night long, right? <laughs> and you wanna hug them too, right? It's like the subtle energy frequencies that permeate your body are so captivating, right? because you start to realize that you don't even have to open your mouth. You don't even have to do everything like that. Your presence is enough, right? So that's how to go beyond the body when you start to just realize presence is everything. Number eight, what helped me to go beyond my body to stop really just only identifying with this body was through meditation, right? Every single day I'm in nature, right over there, there are some people playing. Okay. They're playing soccer and they're, they're moving around, right? Meditation <laughs> helps me go beyond my body every single day. Cause I start to realize, okay, I am like a ball of energy having a human experience. It's so trippy. The more you meditate, the more you realize this is just a vehicle. Okay. And this vehicle is going to keep changing, but the essence inside will remain the same. Okay. So it's super powerful when you just meditate. A lot of the times what I do is just become more present. Okay. That's how you really move beyond the body, like become more present, tap into everything you're listening to, what you're smelling. Woo. Let's breathe in that good ass prana right now, baby. And life just becomes a whole lot better. Okay. Meditation happens when you absorb yourself into the present moment. Now, 
what's number nine? What helped me along my journey was to realize that impress yourself for a change, right? The ninth way to go beyond your body and tap into your awesome energy, impress yourself. We spend our whole lives trying to impress other people because we've seen billboard posters of how supermodels are supposed to look. And then you realize, I look like, I don't look like them. No, I don't, I don't look like them. Why? Nobody knows because you aren't them, right? A lot of those photos, mind you, were Photoshop. They don't even look, they don't even look like that. Okay. So we are comparing ourselves to unrealistic beauty standards. And that's why a lot of women write to me. I get thousands of messages, thousands, right? Saying, I feel really insecure about my body. A lot of guys too, because you are you're going on these social media sites, you're seeing everybody's perfect body, but what they don't show you is how they got it, right? And what they're doing, <laughs> right? So how I started to go beyond the body was to say, who am I doing this for? Like, who are you wearing that bikini for? Is it for, for me to like it or is it for you to like it? Okay, so I started to really appreciate myself a lot more. I started to like myself before anybody liked me right i always like my pictures first right say i approve it if you don't i don't care neither does the cat down the road because we're still gonna just have fun okay so ask yourself am i impressing myself first because that's how you really go beyond the body and tap into your awesome energy you start doing it just for the thrill of it because you want to do it you want to wear this you wear it you want to like it just makes you feel good like i'm wearing this because it feels so good baby and we ain't even had breakfast yet and what's the 10th way to go beyond the body and tap into your awesome energy? Now, we aren't our bodies, right? But we've been told we are. We've been told we are this color. We've been told we are this height, okay? And a lot of us, we allow it to define who we are. So what I always do is I stop always listening to what people tell me about my body, right? When you stop living by other people's standards, you go beyond the body because there is no normal person. Do you know a normal person? Show me. There, there are unique people, okay? So I had to stop living by standards. I stopped like comparing myself to people in magazines. I stopped watching TV. I don't watch TV, right? Do you want to come with me to nature right now? Yeah. Okay, I stop being so judgmental towards myself, right? To say, because you're only judging yourself through comparison. That's the only reason why you judge yourself. If you aren't comparing yourself to anybody, you would never compare yourself, right? If you aren't comparing yourself to anybody, you would never judge yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Let me repeat that. If you aren't comparing yourself to anybody, there would be no need for judgment. But the problem is we are all the time and that's natural. But with more comparison comes more judgment. So I stopped comparing myself by just being bombarded. And I tried to say, look, my body is unique. My energy is even more awesome than my body. Because so many of us in society, you've got a, a vase or a vase, right, full of flowers. We are worshipping the vase or vase, not actually looking at the contents inside, right? So there you have it in a nutshell. There you have it, right? We are out here. I am so much more than my body. Yes, my body is important, but my energy is even more awesome. And then you just say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> and there you have it. We're out here in the heart of nature. Have a beautiful day. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. <laughs> you! <laughs>